Hey guys, well today what we're going to do is we're going to learn about tabs, but tabs with leaders. Now we've already done tabs and tab stops, but now we can learn about tabs with leaders. So what is a leader? Here is an example that I have on the screen. So I'm going to create a form where somebody fills in their name, their surname, their email and their phone. Now, uh, normally what somebody might do is they might press the tab key and again, and then they will hold down shift and the sort of underscore and they'll do this, okay? That's what a lot of people do. So they do this and they go like, oh yeah, that's beautiful. And then they try to do that again. Now, the problem is if somebody gets this, this form in a digital format and they start typing, do you see the characters then start pushing that line and the alignment gets messed up and the line is wrong? It's, it's a big mess, okay? So tabs with leaders help us get past this because we can actually make professional looking forms much easier and much quicker as well. So let's have a look. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a left align tab at about three centimeters. So remember, there it is, left over there and three centimeters. Cool, easy peasy. Then I'm going to do, uh, well, you know, it doesn't matter what tab stop you use, but I just have a habit of making it a right align. So left to right, uh, it's just what I do. Okay, so let's go to um, 10. All right, there, 10. Now, let me show you what will happen normally. I just switch on my show and hide formatting and I press the tab key. Okay, the first tab takes me to three centimeters. The second tab takes me to 10 centimeters. Great, no problem. Just go back to where we were. Now, let's look at what we can do with this over here, number 10. Now, remember to format the properties, okay, of a tab or a tab stop. If I just go to the tab and I double click, it will bring up the tab properties. If you forgot to do that and you remembered a slightly longer way, which is kind of like the other way around, but anyway, I go to paragraph and make sure you're in your line, okay? Make sure you're in your line. Go to paragraph and paragraph settings and down to the bottom, I've got tabs. Click on tabs, there it is there, okay? So either double click on the tab or paragraph settings and then tabs. So here you can see I've got my two tabs that I've created, one at three centimeters, and it is a left align tab, one at 10 centimeters, which is a right align tab. And now I've got the options over here, the leader. In other words, the leader is what leads up to that tab, what leads up to that tab, so a leader. Okay, so I'm going to go and choose a dotted line. That's number two, dotted line. I've got number 10 selected, dotted line, set must click set very important and click OK so now you're looking you go like whoa like nothing's changed of course nothing's changed we haven't done anything yet we haven't pressed tab so I press tab and you go whoa nothing's changed of course not you have to press tab again so I press tab again and check it out there is my leader of dots leading up to number 10 pretty easy hey now if you wanted to go and replicate this for the next three lines you don't have to go and redo it for every single line. Just use the Format Painter, and we've done this before, okay? So I'm inside this line here, or this paragraph. That, that's the formatting that I want. Click on the Format Painter, and just click anywhere here. Done, look, there it is there. Tab, tab. This is so good. And then I can apply that to the next two lines if I want using the Format Painter and that's better. Now, the reason this works so well is because when I have to increase or decrease this text, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see. If I increase the text, do you notice the leaders don't move, the lines don't move and start going onto the next page, it stays in the right proportions, okay? And that's why this works for us. So that is tabs with leaders.